Hello everyone and welcome back to the 14 part tutorial and I'm going to continue with adding all sort of objects so um, let me hide this first this thing here uh, switch to the this layer I want to hide it and I'm going to go over the grid right now and right now we will create sort of a well not sort of but actual uh, house for a dog so dog house or whatever you name it I'm gonna create a polygon pipe at first hold on the J key rotate this and move it here now I'm gonna change the thickness by the way you don't always have to use the attribute editor while it's big large and you know basically more convenient to work with but you still have a lot of options down here radius all those options are here so you can use them so we can right click choose face and let's get rid of half cut of this okay well before that you know what I need to change the thickness so the thickness here is set to 0 0.5 I, I'm gonna go with uh, the attribute editor because it's a little bit more sensitive when you go when it goes to this so put it like that way uh, 0 0.015 okay like so right click choose face I'm gonna grab half cut of this and simply delete it press F8 by the way the move tool or the rotation tool or the scale tool is not resetted so let's reset this okay again try to not rotate anything until you're sure you finished with it okay uh, right click choose vertices let's grab those vertices bring them into about so that's nice. Let's grab this edge here. Double click on that edge. Double click on that edge and extrude them downwards. So switch to move tool and just simply stretch them like so. That's good. Now I'm gonna press F8, bring it back to object mode and shift right click insert edge loop I'm gonna insert one edge loop here and what I will do I will get rid of this double click on that getting rid of, getting rid of those edge uh, faces and then oh I'm thinking of it uh, yeah let's double click on those faces and extrude them so now I'm extruding them that way right so it will be like that but what I actually need to do is I need to make it uh, you know squarey so I'm switching to scale tool and grab these and spread them towards there <coughs> grabbing this <coughs> with the move tool sorry hold on the V key and snap it to this point here and then grab this one and snap them also we're gonna do the same here this one to that one to that one here hold on the V key and snap this to here well that's nice okay so we have that and I don't really like those here uh, but we need them in order to maintain this shape that way so I'm gonna just bring it that way like so and what I will do here is I'm going to use uh, another cube and I'm going to scale this cube up to the, about the same size as that doorway scale it like so I'm going to move it to here okay now I'm going to get rid of that face so delete it press F8 bring it back to object mode and let's see I can um, grab all those faces and simply extrude them inwards that way right press F8 bring it back to object mode let's reverse the normals so everything is fine bring it there right click choose vertices I'm gonna grab all those cube the cube 
uh, upper vertices, hold down the V key, lift it up, lift it down to that same height here. You can see it's not really responding. So let's see. I don't know, maybe I need to do this that way. Oh. Well, this is getting a little bit weird here. Hold on the V key. No, it's not responding to that for some reason. Anyway, let's bring this up a little bit that way. Right click on that, bring this that way, that's good. So just uh, trying to create something fast, something to have a little bit more things there. So with that done, can grab this, extrude it up, and I'm going to extrude these two guys a little bit to the side like so <coughs> grab these vertices here shift select these here grab them and move them along near that these two I'm gonna bring them down to about so okay uh, you can lower it down, it doesn't have to be that high. And let's see, press F8, let's bring this aside for a second, okay. So this thing here, those faces can be extruded out over here, like so. And press F8. All right. So let's bring those a little bit to the back. And that's cool. You really don't need anything like, but that. So if you want to create sort of a really professional, if you expect for something a little bit more professional, just forget about it right now, okay? We are just trying to learn a little bit on how to do things a little bit more quicker this time, okay? So I have this doghouse and it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna unisolate, sorry, not unisolate, but I need to bring back the layer of our land here. I'm gonna bring this up, move it here along, it should be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna first mesh combine that, you can always separate later on by mesh separate, okay, but right now I'm gonna modify center the pivot for it, and I'm gonna place this near to the phone booth. don't want to place this next to the generator the dog will get crazy okay so somewhere here and let me rotate this thing maybe a little bit more rotation and I will place it to the left of the phone booth so the dog always guarding this deck port Okay, all right. Great, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use the brush, grab brush and simply pick this area up maybe bigger if 
trying to match the la the ground to the same height of this doghouse so that way we have this doghouse here I bring this area down here I will stretch this area a little bit more than I did earlier but I don't know something here with the geometry is just messed up I don't want to mess it up a little bit more than that so anyway I'm gonna go over polygons I'm gonna create a polygon cylinder let's go over our let's hide this layer press F to focus on it great right click well something is wrong here well something is wrong I need a selection tool sorry right click choose uh, vertices let's grab those vertices bring them down and do a cone sort of like so creating a you know just water and food plates for our dog so chamfer this grab this scale this face like so click extrude bring it down not too much like so it's enough let's duplicate this and move it over here let's maybe change this thing I don't know you want variation maybe create some bowl for the water or something you like but right now let's settle with this mm, it's close but not okay let's bring back the land ground we need to scale them up so I'm scaling the up, them up like so but I will need to place them a little bit better so let's grab this one at first okay you can grab these and change some of the vertices here manually just to match the height here like so and this one next to it cool and nice we have that we have a house for the dog and that's pretty much it so we can just fix this here this area pull this up a little bit now you don't need to see those inside there so let's grab them and move them downwards a little bit here these that one there these are pieces of the ground that picking out there we don't want this so I'm trying to adjust this okay maybe a little bit bigger I don't know okay cool so we have house for a dog we have this entire thing here so that's good okay so this is it for this part and let's save this file save scene as 14 save as thank you for watching have a good day and i will see you at the next part bye bye